What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So the other night I was cruising the old Amazons and I ran across a keyless ignition switch. Now this looks just like the Stinger. In fact, I believe it's a Stinger knockoff is what this is. It's like $117. And I was like, hmm, I'll buy that. You know, we can put it on a golf cart, try it out and see. Uh, I actually burnt my last one up or my Stinger. I burnt it up when I introduced 72 volts to it. It did not like that at all. So it popped and it fried and I threw it away. Anyway, so for $117, I picked this up and I'm usually not an impulse buyer. I like to usually sit, ponder, wait, think about things, even sometimes sleep on it. And, but for 117 bucks, I was like, this might be perfect video for the channel. Let's get over here to the bench, open it up, look at it, read the instructions and see what it's about. Maybe even put it in. Let's see if it works great. All right, so here we go. This is what we have here. This right here is your keyless ignition switch. This is the box that came in here. That's what it looks like there. Shows a little club car president. And there's a, it's a dad and his son on the golf course. And the son doesn't look like he has a club. I'm just wondering why he's babysitting him at the golf course. But anyways, um, power supply information. 48 or 36 volt golf cart. Low power has four sections. The area, 48 volt, 42 to 48 volt, 36 volt, 30 to 36 volt. I cannot wait to read the instructions. This one right here should be a good one right here. I love the proper grammar that they have with these kind of products here. It reminds me when my wife comes in a room and says, Ryan, you messed up on that video. That's not proper English. Anyways, let's open it up. All right, first thing we got here, owner's manual okay and we'll go over this owner's manual in just a second here and we have the device this is what it looks like not a bad looking device and you have four wires on there you have a plastic nut And you have this big spacer as well. And this reminds me exactly what the stinker looked like when we made that stinker video. Buttons don't feel bad, you know. And it's got like a battery meter there. I'm sure this will work with lead acids, probably would not work with lithium. Um, but we're going to put it on a lithium carp and we might even hook it up lithium and see what it'll do. Red is VCC positive, black is ground. Blue is switch one and green is switch two. So your red and your black is gonna be for the, uh, the voltmeter and the blue and the green is gonna be for the switch. This could be the best part of the entire thing right here. And this is not just your DIY video, but I love reading these Chinese um, manuals here. I just, I, I, think it's, I think it's good. So we're gonna look at it here. First we'll go and see it's very colorful okay looks like they've spent some time into it some of the writing is a lot smaller than i would recommend but we're going to see if these old eyes can read this on the first side here you have like a insulation instructions which shows you you know you can take the bottom panel out pop your old key switch out pop this in throw your wires on there and you're good to go right so it's the same thing here installation procedure next we need to read this section right here Next, we're gonna read that section there. So let me put my bifocals on. It says, replace your key. No more lost time or money replacing or searching for keys. I like that. Then the digital battery guide, it says. It uses cart power, so there's no need to change batteries. Monitor power levels with a light meter display guide. That's beautiful. Pin activated ignition. Restrict access to cart control with a secure programmable four digit user code. That's nice. Then it says patented technology. Patented. Enjoy the keyless convenience of one button cart activation. Okay, we're going to get into the instructions here. Instructions. We're getting into the instructions here. Power on by entering password. We're going to read this word by word, guys. I love reading this kind of stuff word by word. 
touching touching numeric keyboard by four times each touch as one single time with middle lights around the red circle twinkle and buzzing twinkles y'all i like this i like this already i like this twinkles i like that already the battery lights will be up one by one from left side to right side after entering four numbers touching again the white button of the red circle that's that does not sound good but whatever if the password is correct the lights was wrong what if the password is correct the lights around the red circle oh i read that wrong my bifocals i must they must have dropped off my face if the password is correct the lights around the red circle will up in buzzing two seconds that's that's right i promise you let me, let me show you if the password is correct the lights around the red circle will end up will up in buzzing two seconds will up in buzzing two seconds okay let's read that one more time if the password is correct the lights around red circle will up in buzzing for two seconds power on if the password was wrong the lights around red circle twinkling and buzzing two seconds continuously till the lights down around red circle uh, the words are ultra small and if your 42 year old eyes are as bad as mine is with contacts um i don't know what to tell you but they're very small words so we've done multiple things with this golf cart but today we're gonna put a little key switch in here all right there it is this is the old trusty 2014 club car president uh sitting on top of some dirt and stuff that i need to throw away but that's how we do it in this shop here i need to grab a dustpan to do that and uh yeah we've done a lot with this old cart here but we need to go ahead and replace that on off key switch there with this one from china all right now if you've purchased the same keyless switch here for your club car president you go to remove this front panel here you can need two of the t-torx uh, bits here we're using a t15 for the screw on the top and a t30 for the screws on the front of it on the left and right go ahead and get those right here taken apart and we can get to the key switch now i'm just going to grab a pair of needle nose to remove this nut here and i believe on mine i think this is a little bit bigger than one inch but this will work the same now it's off and it pops off from the back side i'm gonna go ahead and keep this right here might use it for another project and just put it in my golf cart box never know when you need a golf cart key switch like this and i always put my key in and turn it to the right just so nothing will fall off of it and the key won't come back out either this so this is the new keyless switcher let's go ahead and get it on and center it up and put the nut on just like so looks pretty good doesn't doesn't look too bad so we're gonna go blue to blue and green to green on this president here red to red and black to black for the battery meter as well so if you're thinking all of this right here is a dog mess well i'll agree with you it is all right guys it's fully installed now let's go ahead and try to activate this right here to power the golf cart on the regular code is going to be one two three four I'm going to hit this red button in the middle. The golf cart's on. I'm going to go ahead and put it in forward. Okay, go ahead and put it in reverse. Okay. And hold it down. And turns it off so it does work all right guys so if you want to change the code from one two three four to let's say four three two one or whatever code you want to put in you need to hold down one and four at the same time for a couple of seconds once it's flashing here we can put our different code in there let's just put four three two one and hit the uh, red button here it's in there now 
Let's put the wrong code in first to see if it will refer back to the original code. And it will not. So you have to put in And that turns it on. So um, let's say you lose the code. I wonder what would happen if you lose the code and you don't know what the code is. I wonder if you can just reset it. So, so you can. So if you lose the code, basically you're just gonna hold down one and four again and reset the initial code back in there. And uh, you have to hold it down a couple of seconds for the golf cart to turn off. All right guys, so it's installed. I showed you how to work it. Here's my number one con. This one comes programmed one, two, three, four. The Stinger version, which was the original version of this uh, concept here, it came with different pin codes from the factory. So, uh, you know, if you wanted to change the pin code on it, well, you had to have that little piece of paper with it, or you had to have the um, look up underneath the bottom of it and it had like a code on the bottom or the back or somewhere like that. And also the Stinger had a Bluetooth app. This one does not have the Bluetooth app. And if anyone wanted to get on your golf cart and take it, well, they could. The only thing they would have to do is hold down button one and four and reprogram the keyless switch itself. But that's 120 bucks. You know, how much do you value it? Uh, is everyone gonna know about this right here product? No, they're not. All right, guys, well, I'm starting to talk with my hands and I uh, appreciate you watching today's video. Like, share, comment, subscribe, do whatever you wanna do. I'll place a link to this right here product in the description below where you can check it out for yourself. And until next time, guys, we'll see y'all later.